Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos items that I picked up and sold for a profit on eBay. Uh, for $35 or less. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So the first item I sold right here is this Melissa and Doug dollhouse girl bendable little girl. Um, I don't think she's actually signed. I think I used Google Lens to find her. If you do not know how to use Google Lens, I do have a video. Type in Google Lens Bolo Buddies and it will pull that up and it will teach you how to search and find what an item is while you're out thrifting. It's it's incredible. Uh, bought this at the Goodwill bins and I sold it for $7.44 plus shipping. So not a big money bolo, but it's a little dollhouse figure, you guys. Hasbro Disney Tangled doll spin and style. Um, it's a doll from Tangled. And I don't remember where I picked this up, but I sold it for $21.70 and the buyer paid shipping. And when I tell you this took a long time to sell, it really, really did. However, I must have relisted it in March. Um, so I think that that was one of them. I, I did take a little time and I did relist some of my items. I don't do it very often because I don't have a lot of extra time, but this one, it looks like I relisted. So that may have helped it sell quicker. This one is a Department 56 HV Series Baker's Figures Figurines Lot of Five. I got this at a thrift store for 25 cents and I sold it for $21.70 plus shipping. Let me see if I can show you what the bottoms look like. Here you go, Department 56. The next item are these Oneida Fiddlesticks Frosty Folk Snowman Plates. Oh my goodness, you guys. I listed these in 2019. 2019. But this is another one I've told you guys before that you know how you can send offers out or you can accept offers? Like this is one of those that I kind of like avoid because it's breakable and I hate shipping breakables. But I ended up selling it for $16.99 plus shipping. I don't even remember where I got it or what I paid for it. Probably paid a buck or something for it. May have been in one of my Christmas mystery boxes. I'm not sure. Department 56 Bride and Groom First Christmas Together Silhouette. This one actually came out of a thrift store mystery box. I sold it for $32.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Uh, cost of goods, probably a dollar, maybe two. This is a Calico Critters Baby Furniture Crib Baby Chair Seat. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents. I don't know why it says 20. I think it was 20 and it was on sale. And then I accepted an offer for eight and the buyer paid shipping. It had been listed for a while and I just went ahead and took that offer. The next item is this family dollhouse figure from 1993. I got this at a garage sale and it was probably in a bulk lot. So I probably had a dollar or less in it. Sold it for a best offer of 20 plus shipping. The next item are these Tupperware Scrape Em All Multi-Purpose Kitchen Gadget Scrapers, Scrubber Lot of Two. This came out of a mystery um, this and that style box that I got from Auctions For You. So it's a big old mystery box and I unbox it on my channel and I show you how I list everything. You guys can check that out on the channel. Farm Girl Scavenger Noel is always like, pick up Tupperware. And I'm always like, I don't want to sell Tupperware. It's boring. And um, I got these in a mystery box. So I listed it and it sold for $12.40 plus shipping. And you can check out auctions for you for mystery boxes. And also check out Farm Girl Scavenger Noel for, uh, she has a lot of Bolo videos also. So check her out. She has one specifically on Tupperware. Vintage 1996 Soft Classics Plush Baby Seal, Jeffrey Stuffed Animal with Tags. I got this at a thrift store for two and sold it for a best offer of 15 plus shipping. The next item is the CVS Easter Bunny, you guys. It is just a CVS Easter Bunny and the tag says $3.99. I got this at the Goodwill bins. It had the tag on it. I figured it was um, discontinued from 2003, it looks like. So vintage. Sold this for $15.50 plus shipping. And that's one thing the Rebel reseller always says in her videos. Walgreens, CVS, the different drug stores, the exclusive items for those stores are harder to find. Sometimes you have to be more patient, 
but they will sell. So be sure to check out the Rebel Reseller as well. Vintage Bull and Bear 2-in-1 Reversible Plush Hand Puppet by Arts Toys. So you flip this thing inside out and it's a different animal. So that is one puppet right there. Got it at the Goodwill Bins and I sold it for $18.60 plus shipping. The next item, I really did not think this would ever sell. I can't believe it sold, to be honest with you. I got it at the Goodwill Bins. I don't even know why I picked it up. Probably because it was small and easy to list and I just wanted to see if I could sell it. It's a bottle opener, a high heel shoe bottle opener. Got it at the bins, sold it for $6.20 plus shipping. Not a big money bolo, but hey, I can say that I sold a high heel shoe bottle opener. Can you? <laughs> Animal Alley Horse Plush, Toys R Us. And um, I talked about this in my Should I Sell to Zero Feedback Buyers? Um, I have my own opinion on that. You guys probably have your opinion on that. I definitely recommend that you go and watch that video. There is a way to block people that have zero feedback. I don't do it. And in the video, I tell you and show you why I do not do it. So uh, check that out. And again, you may agree or disagree. We all have different opinions on things, but um, I would like you to check that video out. I'll try to remember to link it down below. I sold this for $17.36 plus shipping to a zero feedback buyer, and I got it at the Goodwill bins. This is a cow and pig ornaments, and I did not have a good title. I did not do a good job on this listing at all. I listed this in 2020. It took three years to sell. <laughs> I wonder why. Look at the title, guys. It's awful. Do not be like me. I mean, there's other thing. I could have put farm animals. I could have put a vintage. I could have put uh, wood, painted, hand painted. Who? I, I could have done so much with this listing, but I put cow and pig ornaments. So anyway, sold it for $8.50 plus shipping best offer. The next item is this VTech Go Go Smart Daisy Duck vehicle car convertible works with lights and sounds. Got it at the bin, so probably a buck or so. Sold it for $9.30 plus shipping. This is a Lego um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shell replacement part. It's just the back shell. And I got this at a thrift store in a bulk lot of uh, Legos. And it's actually over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. I unboxed the Legos and showed what I found. Uh, I did list a few things, but most of the, those are just sitting to be listed. I'm Legos. I just want to buy them all because I know things like this. And then I have trouble like motivating myself to keep moving forward. So made my money back, sold this for $12.40 plus shipping. And I got a video out of it. It's two videos, I think. Pretty fun videos if you like Legos. So check those out on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. Vintage Mega Blocks Cactus Town Western Village Replacement Blocks, uh, garage sale $1, sold these for $24.80 plus shipping. Now, could I have went in and parted these out individually? Absolutely. Would I have made more money? Quite possibly. Sometimes one of these flags could go for a certain price. And maybe the person buying this is going to part it out, or maybe it was just somebody who really needed a couple of these parts. This is a 2008 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle Hallmark Ornament Classic American Cars in Box. Got this out of a thrift store mystery box. Uh, so probably a buck or less in it. Sold it for $27.90 plus shipping. This is an R&R &R Games Hide and Seek Safari Replacement Monkey missing the seeker wand. So I don't know if it worked or not. Um, it's untested because I didn't have the wand. Uh, I got this at the Goodwill Bins. I just thought it was kind of interesting. And I sold it for $12.40 plus shipping. Ben 10 Ultimate Armadillo Alien Haywire Spider Monkey Figure All Missing Parts. Um, I don't think I wrote down. Oh, yeah, I did. Garage sale, $1. Sold for $21.70 plus shipping. Now, I shipped the wrong item. I did not, um, I didn't ship the spider monkey. I had some other Ben 10 figures there and I grabbed the all wrong items. Somebody messaged me or the, per the buyer, not somebody, the buyer messaged me and said, you shipped me the wrong item. And I'm like, ah, and I just told them to keep the other item and I shipped out the correct item. So I did lose a little bit of money there, uh, both on the item that I let them keep 
and on the shipping, but it was my error. So that was how I made it right. Could I have had them ship the other item back? Yeah, but I just let them keep it because by the time I would have paid the return shipping, just it's better to just make your customer happy. They already had to wait for me to ship the correct item because I made a mistake. The next item is this Jeep Wrangler hat. It is a snapback hat, I believe. Yes. And it sold for $30 plus shipping and I got it at the Goodwill bins. So probably a dollar or less. This is an Imaginex DC Super Friends uh, Miss Freeze figure. I don't know. I did Google Lens probably because uh, I don't know who this character is. And I got her at the Goodwill bins and I sold her for $10 plus shipping. This is one Imaginex figure. The buyer was all in for $16.85. So small toys. I love selling small toys. A lot of them take a while to sell. I listed this November of 2022. So it took a little over a year to sell. But, you know, it takes up this much space. Easy to list. Easy to ship. Vintage Little Tykes Dollhouse Pink High Chair with Blue Baby. Bolo right here. Look these up if you find little tykes. I sold this for $32.50 plus shipping and I got it at a garage sale for $1. The next item is this um, yarn. I got this at a estate sale, an estate sale, and it's two skeins of Bernat Sesame 4 yarn. It's vintage, so it's discontinued. And I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Down below, you will find referrals and affiliates, things that I use for my business that help me. Um, you can click on those links at no cost to you. And when you use those links, I do get a little bit of a commission or a kickback. Um, and I do appreciate it when you guys use those links. It does help me keep this channel going. So check out those links down below. These are services and products that I actually use. So um, I recommend them, I guess you could say. I use them and recommend them. So thanks for checking those out. And thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Your support means a lot to me. Um, I am on Whatnot. So if you're not following me over there, I hope you'll come hang out at a live show. Um, over on Whatnot. There is a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop with that. And you can use that with me or anyone on Whatnot. But just come hang out in the chat. It's super fun. And I hope to see you. Thanks for watching.